Among all the biochemical compounds present in a cell, proteins as a group are perhaps the most structurally and functionally diverse. Thousands of different proteins catalyze thousands of different chemical reactions. Proteins hold membranes together, move parts of the cell or whole cells place to place, or keep other parts of the cell or whole cells in a fixed position. Considering the diversity of proteins, it probably doesn't surprise you that it takes a complex mechanism to construct them. It probably surprises you more that most proteins are made by just one unique system, one system which can make any protein to order according to the disposable set of plans that it is provided. This was going to describe the synthesis of proteins, what components are involved, what these components look like, how they work, and where in the cell they work. Before we talk about the components needed for protein synthesis, though, let's think about what it means to construct a protein, what problems are involved. First, remember that proteins are very large molecules. Any one protein of average size will contain approximately 4,700 atoms connected with covalent bonds. Of course, the structure of a protein can be simplified by considering it to be made of larger subunits, amino acids connected in a linear sequence. But still, the average protein has 300 of these subunits, and that forms a long and unwieldy chain. 